Hi guys, thanks for joining me again for this FMOD and WISE comparison video series. In this video, we're going to take a look at integrating FMOD into Unreal and getting the two softwares talking to each other. So the first thing you need to do is download FMOD. To do that, go to their website. Before you download it, you have to sign up, but signing up is free, so that's fine. It does cost to license FMOD, so let's have a quick look at the licensing page now and I'll talk you through it. It's free if you're working on something that's under 500 grand or if you're only working on one project per year, which is pretty good. For a budget over 500 grand, you've got to pay five grand in licensing fee. For a budget over 1.5 million, you've got to pay 15 grand licensing fee. But let's not worry about that for now because we're only working on a demo and we're not making any money out of it. So on the downloads page, download the latest version of the FMOD Studio tool that's appropriate for your system. I am working a Windows 64-bit machine, so I've already downloaded and installed that, but I'll run you through that anyway. You will then also need the integration package, so hit the integration tab and download the latest version that's appropriate for your system. This comes with its own file structure, which you will install into the plugin folder within Unreal, and it properly integrates FMOD into your live projects. So download both of those and hit the install button for FMOD. Comes up with the usual Windows install system, just hit next and agree. Uh, it will then give you the option to install it to a directory. I just choose the default one. However, I've already installed it, so I'll cancel that for now. You will then have to go to the integration package. So this is where things get tasty. Open up the notes that come with it and it will tell you exactly where you need to install it. So inside here, you can see it says you can put it straight inside the engine plugin directory or directly inside a games plugin directory. And we will put it straight inside the game engine because it makes things a little bit easier. So in the engine, if you go into your Unreal where you've installed it, go into Engine, go into Plugins, and within here, this is where you need to drag this folder. As you can see, I've already done it, so we won't do that. But that is all you need to do, and it should be integrated now with Unreal. You can check that by going into Unreal, and if you go up to Edit, top left, and then go to Project Settings, and if you scroll down, you should now have a FMOD Studio Plugins tab. You can adjust various settings in here, but that is basically all we need to do on engine side. However, it being a plugin doesn't mean that FMOD is in this particular game. We still need to load up FMOD and save it within the file structure of this particular game. So let's go ahead and load up FMOD. As soon as FMOD loads up, you should get the option to open a new project, which is exactly what we'll do. And you will open up a blank project such as this. Let's go ahead and save this project into our game, which is here. We'll just save it here. We'll just call it um, FMOD Audio Icelands. There we go. Save it in there. So that's not everything. So we've saved it into the project folder. You don't have to save it there. You can save it wherever you like. However, if you go into preferences here, this is where you this is how you set up the folder system to be talking to Unreal. So if we browse now, go to our projects again, go into content, and we'll need a folder in here called FMOD. If there's not one in there, just make one. And that's all you need to do. Select that folder. And that's it. We should be good to go. Let's just double check that by adding an audio event and making sure that it works properly. Go ahead, there we go, that's an audio event. Um, Unreal Engine works by reading banks, so each event or piece of audio that you add into FMOD Studio, you need to assign to a bank so that Unreal Engine can actually hear it or read it. So you do that in here, that's that done. Let's add a piece of audio to this particular event. Let's just pick one at random. What have we got here? So uh, a footstep will do. Pop that in. We'll run through the layout of FMOD properly in the next couple of videos, but for this purpose, we'll just listen to this. So there it is. We have our footstep running. The sample works okay. Don't worry about the settings just now. Let's build. Once you've hit build, it should add a folder structure and everything within FMOD Studio into the actual game, into the game project uh, folder system which you can see on the left-hand side here. So we now have an FMOD folder, which is proof that it's worked. Go into the events folder, and there is our event that we created, and that should be our footstep event. 
Let's double check that's correct event. Change the name to footsteps. Build again. And Unreal, see the bottom right side of the screen there, has reloaded the banks, and there we go. Updated the event, so that's worked perfectly. That's it for this video. Thanks for listening. Integration complete. The next subject in this series of videos is applying footsteps. We'll be going into the animation cycle so we can trigger footsteps at the right time, as well as detecting the surface that we're walking on in order to change the sample dynamically. You can either move straight onto that one, or you can jump over to the Y side of things and see how integration compares with that piece of software.